Welcome back to Numerologist.com. I am Nat from NatsNumbers.com and I am here to give you the lowdown on what to expect in March 2018 according to the ancient science and magic of numerology. I'm actually going to strategically make this short and sweet because I believe that March is such a powerful month that I want you to walk away with a simple premise that sticks into your mind so that you can actually reap the benefits of it. So here's the simple premise. Here's the thing that the number five of March, a five universal month, wants to bring to you. The five asks you, are you willing to have things get better and better? Are you willing to see the opportunity for incredible, miraculous, faded, positive changes. That is what is at our disposal this month. Because what the five ultimately does is the five advocates for you to have positive changes to progress and to evolve in your life. And it's funny because the archetype of the five can sometimes be the jokester or the trickster, um, something that shows up in mythology as this character that shows up that like stirs things up, right? That, that if you're not ready for change, if you're not ready for metamorphosis and positive transformation, the five will show up and will enact change in your external environment, which might show up as chaos or it might show up as um, what appears to be inconveniences, but it does that because it's waking you up. It's saying you don't have to be stuck anymore. You don't have to be limited. You don't have to continue to put yourself into the, the number four, the box, right? Of thinking that you are this identity, thinking that you are this persona, thinking that that is your ceiling for income or your ceiling for love or your ceiling for health. The five shows up and it's like, no, no, no. Are you kidding? What holodeck did you get on? Like what weird place did you end up that where you got hypnotized to the point that you forgot that there are all of these opportunities and doorways for things to keep getting better and better. So that is really your your greatest lesson this month, but it's your greatest tool is to just ask yourself, am I willing to let things get better and better? And what are the opportunities that might come up or the ideas or insights that might pop up that would help you move through that doorway, through the doorway of the new transformed version of you in your life um, and a doorway of progress versus the doorway of being stuck? being limited, doing things the old way that you've done them. And I know this to be true about the number five, it's advocacy for our progress and our evolution because I have so many number fives in my life. Um, my daughter's a five, all my best girlfriends are five life paths. And when you sit down with a constructive five who's really tapped into their fiveness of freedom, fun, adventure, liberation, what they'll do is they'll blow your mind opening you up to possibilities that you never even entertained, right? So you might be saying to yourself, um, you know, I'm stuck in this job and I'm stuck at this income bracket. And you talk to the five and they're like, no, you're not. <laughs> they're like, actually, there's X, Y, and Z over here that are exciting, fun opportunities for you to make more money. Or look at, there's these possibilities over here for all of the love and all of the richness that you desire. So the five will show you that you might have been on a track of limitation and of, of stuckness, and it will show you the way out. It will show you through positive changes, through opportunities, through an adventurous spirit that you have the ability to up-level and progress in your life. So that's what I want you to have as your main takeaway, that one question. Am I willing to allow things to get better and better? Am I willing to even entertain the idea to set the intention that things could just keep getting better and better? Oh, that's the number five. Okay, guys, please comment below and let me know if you are willing to allow things to get better and better and what that might look like if that ended up being true for you. I can't wait to talk with you guys in another month and I'm sending you so many well wishes your way.